this video is your gateway to discovering the best open source apps to replace everyday applications, no ads, no trackers, just pure functionality and privacy. Avis Gallery is a feature-rich open source alternative to traditional gallery applications offering advanced search, filtering and metadata exploration. It supports various image and video formats, allows photo conversion to different formats, image casting and even saving images to PDF similar to Samsung's gallery application, with detailed media statistics, smooth animations, widgets and app shortcuts, it's a powerful, ad-free, privacy-friendly way to organize and view your media. Most video player applications out there are filled with ads, still has boring UI and navigation isn't smooth. Next player is a great and actually secure video player you must have as your go-to. It has a simple UI with Material U design integration, and what I like most about this application is, it doesn't just load all your folders into the application like most video player applications do, it only scans and loads only folders containing video files in them, making it a secure application to use since it doesn't get access to your entire phone storage. Still has support for subtitles, audio playback options, now playing screen settings and more. Moving on to file management applications, first one is my personal favorite and it's called File Explorer, very generic name, and for the best alternative to boring default file manager applications or the common one you use filled with ads and might not even be secure, I highly recommend this one. It's very neat, easy to navigate, you can open multiple tabs for easy file movement, better organization and categorization, a great file search feature, plus dedicated text editing settings so you can actually edit HTML files right within this application. You can preview photos, watch videos or even open PDFs directly within this application. And if you need to compress files or extract archives, File Explorer handles that easily. So for just a simple straightforward alternative, try this application. Another great option is called Write Files. This also is an easy to use file management application which provides statistics at first glance on your storage usage and offers a lot when it comes to file handling. The UI of this is a standout feature in my opinion, plus some useful gestures like swipe right to copy files, swipe left to delete, and some more settings which I'll leave you to explore. And of course, there is Material Files, which is a well-known open source file manager application and another great option. Very clean and minimal, and default applications don't even stand a chance. It even looks like a stock file manager application and so if you're looking for an open source alternative without switching off from the UI you are used to, then you can try using material files. In the case of offline music player applications, there are tons of great open source options on FDroid and GitHub which are all free to install and all of them, though great, still isn't on the same level as Namida, in my opinion. And if you follow this channel, you should know this. What else does this application not have for an offline music player application? It has a great UI, tons of features, lots of useful now playing settings, smooth animations, overall useful app settings and a lot more plus it's free of ads and completely free. And if Namida is too feature packed for your liking, check out Gramophone which is another open source free ad free offline music player application. With a modern material you design that adapts your wallpaper colors, it offers local file access sleep timer, playback speed adjustment, and dynamic theming for a smooth experience. While playlist creation and equalizer support are missing, they are planned for future updates. And this is also a solid alternative to your default music play application. I will also leave links to some other best open source offline music play applications which you can try out. Still on music, All Dial is a fantastic open source alternative to Shazam, offering powerful music recognition using Odd and ACR cloud services it can identify millions of songs while providing additional details like album information, release year, and streaming links. A standout feature is its offline mode, allowing you to record songs and recognize them later when you are back online. Recognized tracks are saved within the application where you can filter, favorite, or delete them as needed. With a clean interface and customization options, All Dial is a reliable, ad-free choice for discovering music effortlessly. Both All Dial and All Dial, which serves the same purpose, look similar in terms of UI and features, can serve you results from Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube and a whole lot more music streaming services. 
OSS Document Scanner is a powerful open source alternative to mainstream scanning applications, offering an easy way to scan, enhance, and export documents as PDFs or images. It's very easy to use whether capturing scans with a camera or importing existing files for enhancements with multiple filters to improve clarity. The app also features text recognition and strong security measures including fingerprint unlock and screenshot blocking. Unlike many scanners, it securely stores your scanned documents within the application so you can always retrieve them if needed. With a clean, ad-free interface and a focus on privacy, OSS Document Scanner is a reliable and efficient choice for document management. You can also check out OpenScan, which is a simple, reliable open-source document scanner and also one of the best options available. And still on documents, MJPDF is a simple, efficient and privacy-focused alternative to mainstream PDF readers. Unlike many applications that store your documents, MJPDF never saves files within the application ensuring complete control over your data, you can open PDFs directly from your storage or share them with the application when needed. It offers useful features like auto-scrolling with adjustable speed, zoom lock, table of contents generation, text extraction with long press, and even a false dark mode for better readability. Plus, it's open source, completely free, and designed for a seamless reading experience. Away from documents management, Notally is a polished open source alternative to Google Keep. Offering a minimalistic yet feature-rich note-taking experience, you can create, organize, and prioritize notes or to-do lists with ease, adding images, voice notes, text formatting, and labels for better organization. It also supports color coding, pinning, and sharing notes as text or PDFs, while every edit is saved automatically, no save button needed. Its advanced search makes finding notes effortless and most importantly, it prioritizes privacy. Notally works entirely offline, requires no account setup, has no ads, and stores all data locally, with the option of automatic backup. And so if you want a simple yet powerful note-taking application without privacy concerns, Notally is a perfect choice. And a more recent simple alternative is OpenNote, also a feature-rich yet underrated open-source alternative to default note-taking applications it combines a simple notepad with a full markdown editor, automatic outline organization, and a polished reading mode for professional-looking notes. You can categorize notes, search easily, set reminders, and export in multiple formats, including PDF. With built-in OCR for text extraction, support for images and audio, offline functionality, and password protection, it's a powerful, no-nonsense, note-taking tool that keeps everything organized and accessible. When it comes to browsing, Google Chrome is the GOAT. I'm sure we can all agree on that. But you can still have an open source alternative to it. Enter Chromite, which offers enhanced privacy and features Google Chrome's browser lack. And don't worry, Chromite looks exactly like Chrome. It's actually built on Chromium, a privacy-focused fork of Bromite, which itself is a Chromium-based browser with added privacy features like enhanced ad blocking, anti-tracking, and improved security ensuring a seamless, secure browsing experience. A standout feature is the ability to lock incognito sessions with a passkey or fingerprint, adding an extra layer of privacy. Chromite also includes customization options like moving the address bar to the bottom for an easier navigation. And so if you want a Chrome-like browser without tracking or data collection, Chromite is a top choice. And if you love to go lightweight, Arc Search is a smarter, also privacy-focused alternative to default and mainstream browsers. Designed for an intuitive and clutter-free web browsing, instead of just displaying search results, it refines how you find and interact with information, making browsing faster and more efficient. With no intrusive ads or trackers, it prioritizes speed, simplicity, and user control. And so if you want a fresh take on web browsing that focuses on efficiency and privacy, Arc Search is a great choice. Moving on, Flores Board is a privacy-first open-source keyboard that offers a level of customization most default keyboards lack. You can easily switch between languages, create custom themes, adjust key spacing and height, and even enable one-handed mode for better usability on larger phones. It also includes clipboard management, undo and redo buttons, and customizable gestures for a more tailored typing experience. While it's still evolving and may lack some advanced features, its open source nature ensures transparency and data privacy, crucial for something as personal as your keyboard.
Plus, you can actively contribute to its development by providing feedback, making it a great alternative to mainstream options. Another option you would love to look at is Inkwell. This is actually a cool-looking open-source keyboard application that is definitely worth trying out if you're looking for a change. It also comes with redo and undo buttons, an active clipboard which can be disabled for privacy, arrow keys, and a variety of stunning material you themes. The app also offers several customization options to enhance the typing experience. With its sleek design, practical features, and open-source transparency, Inkwell is a promising alternative to mainstream keyboards. The only downside to both keyboards is the lack of glide typing. Calculator applications might not be an issue for most, however, Number Hub is the ultimate open source alternative in case you want to try a different one. It offers much more than just basic math functions. It's a sleek, ad free, all in one tool that includes trigonometric functions, fractional outputs, and a design that makes it easy to copy and share results. Beyond the calculations, it features a powerful unit converter with over 500 options, a date calculator, and a time zone converter, making it perfect for all your everyday needs. With its polished interface and open source flexibility, it's a must have only one application that can replace multiple tools while keeping things simple and efficient. For email applications, most users would like to stick with Gmail, and that is understandable. However, if you would love to consider an alternative, then K9 Mail is a privacy-focused, open-source email client that works seamlessly with almost any provider. It features a unified inbox to keep messages organized and doesn't track your activity or share data with third parties. And with automatic background sync, your inbox stays updated, and both local and server-side search make finding emails effortless. And so if you value simplicity, security, and functionality, K9 Mail is a great alternative to Gmail definitely worth trying. Link management might not be a big of a deal for most Android users, but if you love saving links randomly, I highly recommend you check out Linkora. This is a powerful open-source link management tool designed for organizing and storing links efficiently. It lets you categorize links into folders and subfolders, mark important ones for quick access, and even archive older links. The app features a home screen shelf for easy access to frequently used folders and supports imports and exports for seamless backup or device transfers. Ideal for researchers or anyone managing large number of links, Linkora keeps everything neatly organized and easily retrievable. Similar to Linkora is LinkHub, which takes a very simple and straightforward approach and still works perfectly. WeatherMaster is a clean and free weather application that delivers all the essential forecasts without a clutter. It provides real-time weather updates, a 48-hour and 8-day forecast, moon phases, sunrise and sunset times, bringing the sleek Google Pixel weather application style to any Android phone. It offers a clear temperature display, dynamic weather background, a live weather map, and even clothing recommendations based on the forecast. So if you want a simple yet feature-packed weather application, WeatherMaster is a great open-source alternative. If you love RSS feeds, Twine is a modern open-source RSS reader that serves as a great alternative to popular options like Feedly or InnoReader. It supports both RSS and Atom feeds, allowing you to curate your own news sources without compromising privacy. With a clean and distraction-free reader mode, powerful filtering tools, and fast search functionality, staying informed has never been easier. You can archive important posts, import and export OPML lists for seamless syncing, and enjoy an ad-free reading experience. If you're looking for a refined, privacy-focused RSS reader, Twine is a top choice. As an Android user concerned with privacy and security, then you might have heard of Fossify. And if you haven't, Fossify offers a suite of open-source, ad-free Android applications designed to prioritize user privacy and functionality. Originating as a continuation of simple mobile tools, which was no longer maintained and later sold, Fossify aims to provide simple and private tech solutions for everyone. Some Fossify applications that I use include Fossify Notes, Calendar, Voice Recorder. You will also find alternatives for launchers, file managers, galleries, keyboards, and more. All lightweight and simple. And you can find Fossify applications on FDroid, GitHub, and fortunately on the Google Play Store. And so if you're looking for secure replacements for everyday applications, you can either check out all the applications mentioned in this video or just visit the Fossify group of applications and knock yourself out. 
consider subscribing to the channel since compiling this list for you wasn't that easy. And also leave a comment and let me know which other open source applications you have as your go-to over stock or common applications. I'm sure there is a ton of them I'm yet to come across. Also make sure you leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.